Well, uh, my name is Margaret Borgerding. I'm a senior uh, here at OU. I'm studying international business and economics uh, with a minor in Spanish. Um, I actually got to complete my minor in Spanish while I was studying in Buenos Aires on the program OU in Buenos Aires with um, Dr. Ray and a bunch of other colleagues from OU. Um, so we just got to take some classes with Dr. Ray um, and then we also had the opportunity to take classes at the University of Belgrano um, in Buenos Aires and those classes were awesome for just really you know completing your coursework and with a minor in Spanish or a major um, but also with just learning so much Spanish because they were taught completely in Spanish and most of my professors at the University of Belgrano didn't know any English at all. So that was really cool. It was really intimidating at first. I was like, oh my God, I have to like take tests and stuff all in Spanish and all my notes have to be in Spanish. Like, what is this? But um, actually like after the first couple of weeks, it was just really easy. Like you pick up stuff like really fast because you're just surrounded with Spanish all the time, um, especially in your homestay because the program features homestay. Um, so I lived with a woman in um, one of the oldest neighborhoods in Buenos Aires, San Telmo. Um, really beautiful area, so much to do down there, so much history. Um, and then of course at home I just got to speak Spanish with my host mom all the time, learned little like particular Spanish vocabulary words and phrases. And um, yeah, so then in the meantime, like in between classes, had a lot of downtime. Um, had to do a little bit of studying, but I mean, even studying in Buenos Aires is fun. Um, yeah, so basically in my downtime, we just explored the city. Um, we got to see most of the major neighborhoods, just hop on the subway line and just explore, meet people. That was really fun. Um, and then all the trips that we took with the program were amazing, going to Iguazu Falls. Um, we went to Uruguay, um, to Colonia de Sacramento, and then after that, uh, a group of us went on to Montevideo um, for the weekend, and that was incredible. I love Montevideo. I'm actually going back this summer for an internship with the State Department. Um, I'll be living there for two months, and basically all the Spanish and all the experience I had on the program in Buenos Aires really was what pushed me over the top and got me this internship this summer. So there are definitely benefits that come later beyond just finishing coursework and having a lot of fun. So, yeah. Uh, well, the Spanish in Buenos Aires and in Argentina in general is a little different. Um, the rhythm and the accent takes a little bit of getting used to, um, but you pick it up really quickly because you're just, like I said, surrounded with Spanish all the time. And um, it's fairly easy to find people who are able to speak English with you. Um, it's really easy to get around the city and communicate in English, but um, my main suggestion would just be like avoid English, like maybe with your classmates when you're hanging out, your OU uh, classmates, but any other time just like be dedicated and speak Spanish because you'll learn so much more and get so much more out of it. Um, OU in Buenos Aires to me means family because I met the greatest people in the whole wide world and we had a fantastic time. I also love the food in Argentina, it's amazing. And the experiences I had in the city, the nightlife, the going out, the cultural aspects were all really fantastic as well. Also, I want everybody in the whole world to go to Argentina, especially Buenos Aires. My name is Maya Sykes, I'm a junior. I'm an international business and marketing major with a minor in Spanish. One reason that I wanted to study abroad was because one, I am an international business major, so it's a requirement to study abroad for a semester, but also through the OU Buenos Aires program, I was able to fulfill my requirements for my Spanish minor, which I thought was really cool. So that's one reason why I decided to go to Buenos Aires, Argentina on the OU and Buenos Aires program. Part of my journey there, I think, in a sense, I found myself when I took the trip. I didn't know if I was a city girl, suburban girl, or country girl, and I lived in the suburbs most of my life, but 
Um, Buenos Aires, as most people know, is a huge metropolitan city, and I lived right in the centro, the center, as they would say, uh, next to Nueva de Julio. I cross that every day, and it's so wide that you can't just cross it in one walk. You have to stop in the middle, and then you could go again, and there's bus lanes and everything. So some people would think that, you know, that sounds kind of hectic, but I loved it. I loved every minute, I loved every time I got to cross that Nueva de Julio Avenue. I liked that a city not only has a lot of fascinating things to do, but it has eclectic people. And you never know who you're going to meet when you go to, um, say, like Teatro Colón, that was actually near me too, that's one of the great opera houses, who's going to be there. And people can wear jeans there, or you can dress up. It's, it's one of those places that arts is very re readily accessible for whatever economic level you're at, which I really enjoyed. Um, well, I had many favorite parts of the trip, but I think my favorite, favorite part is when I went to Mendoza. And the reason that is because that trip actually was something that my friends and I planned ourselves. That wasn't given to us through CEA, which is the program that I used to go to Buenos Aires. Me and my friends went to the office and we picked the trip. We told them what excursions we wanted to go to on this trip. We budgeted it all out. We took the bus, which was about, I want to say 14 to 18 hours, all the way over from Buenos Aires, all the way up to Mendoza, which is about here, so that we could see the wineries and we could explore more and open our minds to new things. So that would be my favorite, not only because it shows a sense of independence, it also was something that I kind of wanted to do. It, it wasn't a sense me and my friends chilling for the weekend. And it was also very rewarding because we actually had a major exam the Monday we got back or the Tuesday we got back. And so I'm on the bus studying intensely in Spanish and all these Argentines are helping me. They're like, this word means that, look up here for that. And it was like a collective effort in order for us to get a good grade on the exam and to learn a little bit more about Argentina. And I did get a good grade on the exam, if you're wondering. So that shows that when you go and study abroad, you can go and travel and have fun and still get good grades. Don't worry about that. It's all about the experience. My name is Galen Arnold, and I'm a sophomore at OU, studying mechanical engineering. See, in Buenos Aires, I completed my minor in Spanish down there, and it just helps tremendously being surrounded by Spanish. Living in Buenos Aires was an incredible experience that I will never forget for the rest of my life. And I gained invaluable knowledge and experience and just going through and living in the culture and just I met tons of great new friends and friends in Argentina that I'd like to go back and visit. And I lived with a lady in a house and she made me breakfast every morning and dinner five nights a week. And we would talk and watch the news on TV and she helped me a lot with Spanish and so that helped me tremendously in improving my Spanish. Being in America and in Oklahoma, I'm used to the Mexican accent of Spanish and going down there is more like an Italian accent. There's a few new vocabulary words I had to learn but after two to three weeks, your ears, I mean, just start listening to it and that's all you hear every day. You just get more used to it and being able to speak it better and hear it better and understand it. See, while I was down there, I went to Iguazu Falls, one of the seven wonders of the world, and seeing that was amazing. I visited the Andes Mountains, and along with, I went to Uruguay, hung out on the beach there, and absolutely, I would recommend this trip to anybody I meet trying to learn Spanish or experience a new culture. One of the best things that happened to me studying abroad is I get to, you know, yeah, when I went, there was like seven or eight of us. A lot of study abroad groups have large groups, you know, and so you don't really get to interact with them as much of them individually. But with this tight group of people that I went with, I, you know, I got to know them. I got to hang out with them for four months, you know. Initially, when you're spending time outside the country, you're not going to, you might not want to go out. You might not want to experience it because you're nervous, you know, you're new in the country. It's not a culture or it's not a place that you're familiar with. So you'll start spending time initially with this group of people at first. But eventually, as time goes on, you and these people, you're just going to grow out, experience everything that's new together. You're going to grow up, and then eventually, you guys are going to become a tight-knit family. And when you get back, you'll just have this new set of friends that'll just stay with you forever. 
like I said, this isn't something where you just meet fleeting once or twice or go out and have a, go out and see a movie or go out once or twice to have lunch or dinner, but I actually live with this person and because of that, you know, she was my host mother, but she also became my mother as well. And when I first initially got there, I couldn't hardly speak the language and she didn't speak a word of English, but it was just an awesome experience and we grew, you know, we became, you know, like a mother and son and we had this close relationship. And I still write to her by email and she writes to me and she's just a really great person and it's great that you get to go out and meet these new people and have them close to you forever. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend Buenos Aires as a trip. It's really different than a lot of the Latin American cities. I love the landscape. There's so many mountains, so many, um, so much forest life. We went to Iguazu in the Misiones province and just beautiful forest. Nothing that you'd see in the city life because Buenos Aires, sure, it's a large city, but everything around the city is just so awesome. There's so many rural towns. There's so much just landscape everywhere. Like I said, there's mountains. The Iguazu Falls is just completely spectacular. And it's just, and just Argentina in general is just a great place to be.